Uh, welcome to the new mo module on this course on differential equations. We will also be concerned in this uh, course to do some theoretical aspects of uh, differential equations and we will state and prove the existence and uniqueness theorem. For that purpose we need to get familiarized with some of the concepts, basic concepts of uh, real function theory. In this lecture, uh, we will discuss about uh, convergence of sequence of functions. Uh, two types of convergence uh, we deal with, uh, namely the point wise convergence and uh, uniform convergence. Some concepts of real function theory. Function theory. So, first uh, we deal with point wise convergence. of sequence of functions and also we will do uniform convergence. sequence of functions. Before we start the point wise convergence and uh, uniform convergence of a sequence of functions, let us uh, start with uh, the convergence of sequence of real numbers. So, definition say I call it definition 1 a sequence of real numbers of real numbers uh, let us denote this by x n is set to converge to the limit call it x 0 if given epsilon greater than 0 a positive number there exist a positive number denoted by n such that absolute value of x n minus x 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than this number capital N. So, a sequence of real numbers x n is said to converge to a limit x 0 if uh, this happens that for all n small n greater than capital N the difference between x n and x 0 that is made uh, less than epsilon and we denote this by we denote this by limit x n as n goes to infinity is equal to x 0. So, let us consider an example 
we will consider an example of real number a sequence of real numbers. So, example 1 let us consider a sequence of real numbers given by x n is equal to n by n plus 1, where n goes from 1, 2, 3, etcetera. And uh, then we will see that limit of this sequence, limit n goes to infinity x n, which is by definition limit n goes to infinity n by n plus 1 is equal to 1. So, that is x n is given by n by n plus 1 and x 0 the limit is 1. So, we will, we will, we will see how this happens. So, for so given epsilon greater than given epsilon greater than 0. So, what we are looking for? We are looking for x n minus x 0 which uh, in our case n by n plus 1 minus x 0 is 1. We are looking for the situation that this difference is less than epsilon and uh, we know that uh, for the, this less than epsilon for a large capital N. So, we need to find a capital N uh, such that for all N greater than that N this difference is less than epsilon. Uh, let us uh, consider this N by N plus 1 minus 1 this quantity just by simplifying it is since n is positive uh, this is 1 by n plus 1. So, we want this to be less than epsilon and a simple manipulation shows that 1 by epsilon is less than n plus 1 or 1 by epsilon minus 1 is less, less than n. So, therefore, this happens 1 by n plus 1 is less than epsilon if n is greater than strictly greater than 1 by epsilon minus 1. So, what is the moral of the story is that given epsilon greater than 0 there exists an n capital N which in our case we could compute uh, this as 1 by epsilon minus 1 such that x n minus x 0. So, which uh, in our case it is 1 by n plus 1 is less than epsilon for all strictly greater than n this capital N is 1 by epsilon minus 1. So, hence the, hence the conclusion is the sequence x n is equal to n by n plus 1 converges to a limit 1. So, this implies that so this implies that x n is equal to n upon n plus 1 converges to 1 as n goes to infinity. So, this uh, is uh, concerning a sequence of real numbers. Now, we will consider a sequence of functions. So, now convergence of sequence of functions. So, sequence of functions consider a sequence of functions denoted by f n uh, such that each f n 
is a function from an interval a b to r. So, real valued function defined on the interval a b and uh, we will now uh, discuss about the convergence of this sequence of functions. When do we say that this sequence of fu functions converge to some limit function. Now, uh, let x be any fixed uh, real number in the interval a b. Now, consider the sequence of real numbers consider the sequence which is the value of the functions f n evaluated at x. So, now this uh, is a sequence of real numbers. Now, consider the sequence f n x of real numbers. Now, this sequence of real numbers for every fixed x is said to converge to a limit uh, call it f x. If we can find a capital for every epsilon greater than 0, we can find a capital n such that the difference between f n x and f x is less than epsilon for all n greater than capital n. So, now this uh, f n x this sequence of real numbers is set to converge to a limit say f x for a fixed x in the interval a b if for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a number n such that this difference f n x minus f x the absolute value of f n x minus f x is less than epsilon for all n greater than n. So, this uh, sequence of real uh, sequence of functions when it is evaluated at a point x it turns out to be a sequence of real numbers. So, therefore, the convergence of sequence of functions at a point turns out to be the convergence of a sequence of real numbers. So, this uh, sequence is uh, uh, said to be uh, said to converge to a point uh, a limit f x if this happens. And if this happens for every x in the interval a b, so if this convergence happens at every x in the interval a b, then we say that the sequence of functions f n converges converges to the function f x point wise on a b. So, this uh, defines a point wise convergence of a sequence of functions defined on some interval a b. Now, we 
we give an example of a sequence of functions converging to a function pointwise. So, example say call it example 2. So, consider a sequence of functions f n sequence of function f n defined by. So, we consider a sequence of functions f n defined by f n x is equal to n x divided by n x plus 1 and for all x between 0 and 1. And here n goes from 1, 2, 3, etcetera. This is a sequence of function, infinite sequence of functions defined by nx by nx plus 1. Here ab is uh, interval 0, 1. So ab in our definition is uh, 0, 1. Now, if uh, uh, look at the few terms of the sequence, so for example, the first three terms when n is equal to 1, 2 and 3 say f 1 x is x upon x plus 1 and f 2 x is 2 x upon 2 x plus 1 and f 3 x is 3 x by 3 x plus 1 and so on. If you evaluate this uh, sequence of functions at uh, x is equal to 0, say let x is equal to 0 which is a point inside our interval, so, uh, then f 1 at 0, f 2 at 0, f 3 at 0 and so on. We get the sequence f n at 0, so which is a sequence of zeros. So, obviously, at x is equal to 0, this is values the zero sequence that converges to 0. So, limit n goes to infinity f n at 0, this goes to 0, 0 is a limit when x is equal to 0. Now, we consider for the case uh, when x is a non zero but value in the interval. So, for every x which is strictly greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1, the sequence is uh, the same f n x is n x by n x plus 1 and uh, if you look at the graph of the sequence. So, this is x and this is y is equal to f x the function y is equal to f n x. And if you look at the graph of the sequence, uh, say this point is 1, and you will see that the graph may be f1x will have a form of this type, and uh, is say f 5 x and if uh, look at say f 50 x. So, this will be f 
50 x and we can show it that limit n goes to infinity for x between stri uh, strictly greater than 0 and less than equal to 1 n goes to infinity n x by n x plus 1 this is equal to 1. So, this goes to 1 and 1 is the constant function given here. Uh, that can be seen just by simplifying this n x by n x plus 1, which if I take uh, n common n of x plus 1 by n and as n goes to infinity 1 by n goes to 0 and uh, n and n can be cancelled and uh, you get this is equal to 1 as n goes to infinity. So, therefore, for uh, the values of x strictly greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1 the sequence of function f n x that converges to 1 uh, the constant function 1. So, in short we write the sequence of function f n. So, this sequence of function converges to, to a function f x. So, which is 0 when x is equal to 0 and which is 1 when x is uh, strictly greater than 0 and uh, less than or equal to 1. So, this uh, sequence of functions in the example converges point wise to a function f x and uh, the limit function look at the limit, limit function it is a it is a discontinuous function. So, and also if you look at uh, each function each f n x in the sequence each f n x is a continuous function on the interval 0 1 and this sequence of function converges to a function f x the limiting function uh, is not a continuous function which has a discontinuity at 0. So, uh, one thing we observe that even if we have a sequence of continuous functions which converges to a function f x point wise is not necessary that the limit function f x will be continuous on the given interval. But in the uh, existence uniqueness theorem, we want to have a situation where the limit function also must be continuous. So, what, uh, what is a guarantee or what makes it uh, sure or ensure that if you have a sequence of continuous functions and that converges to a function f x what is a guarantee that the limit function is also continuous. That is a stronger uh, requirement that is ensured if we assume uh, with some different kind of convergence rather, uh, rather than point wise convergence. So, point wise convergence does not guarantee that the limit function is continuous even if each individual function in the sequence itself is continuous. So, we uh, to guarantee that the limit function is also continuous we need a stronger notion of convergence which is known as a uniform convergence. So, we now introduce what, you, what we call as uniform convergence of sequence of functions. Okay. So, uniform convergence of sequence of functions. So, 
So, let us recast the point wise convergence once again in a different uh, uh, way of putting. So, definition uh, so we say definition 2 bar which is another way of uh, defining the uh, point wise convergence, point wise convergence we have already defined. Uh, let f n be a sequence of real functions. Let f n be a sequence of real functions, each of which each of which is defined on an interval call it a b. Now, the sequence of function f n is set to converge So, it is set to converge point wise, set to converge point wise uh, to a function f on a b. If given epsilon greater than 0, given epsilon greater than 0 for each x in the interval a b, there exists a positive number call it n. Now, this n is going to depend on epsilon and also on x. For each x and for a given epsilon, if there exists a positive number n that depends upon both epsilon and x such that the absolute value of f n x minus f x is less than epsilon for all n greater than this n, this n is okay, basically that depends upon epsilon and x. So, observe that in general the number n depends not only on epsilon, it also depends on the point x. So, for a given epsilon and for a uh, the, give, uh, the numbers n epsilon will be different for different points x. And if you can find a single n okay, which is available for all x in the interval a b, then we say that the convergence is uniform convergence. Okay. So, uniform convergence is a case where, where for a given epsilon greater than 0, there exists a positive number n, that a number n will work for all x in the interval a b, then the point wise convergence turned out to be uh, uniform convergence. So, we will define, uh, we will write as a definition. So, call it definition 3. Let f n be a sequence of real functions. each of which
is defined on a given interval a b, then the sequence f n is said to be or is said to converge uniformly to a function f on a b if given epsilon greater than 0 there exist a positive number n and now in this case n depends only on epsilon such that the absolute value of f n x minus f x is less than epsilon for all n greater than this capital N and for every x in the interval a b. So, here the capital N that positive uh, number capital N depends only on epsilon not on x ok. N depends only on epsilon not on x. So, that is true for all x in the interval a b. So, geometrically what does it mean? See geometrically So, this means that so given epsilon greater than 0, the graphs of y is equal to f n x for n greater than capital N ok the graphs of y is equal to f n x for n greater than n lies between the graphs between the graphs of y is equal to f x plus epsilon and y is equal to f x minus epsilon. So, that is so that is if we have the interval so this is the limit function f x say this is f x plus epsilon and this is f x minus epsilon then uniform convergence ensures that 
for all small n greater than the capital N the function f n lies f n x lies between f x plus epsilon and f x minus epsilon. So, n greater than capital N. So, we will see an example of uniform convergence. So, an example. So, this is a third example. So, consider the sequence of functions Fn defined by so we consider a sequence of functions defined by fnx is equal to n x square divided by n x plus 1 where x is between 0 and 1 and n is equal to 1 2 3 etc. So, obviously, for x is equal to 0, when I fix x is equal to 0, f n 0 is a 0 sequence and that converges to 0, n goes to infinity, f n 0 is 0. So, at x is equal to 0, the given sequence of function converges to 0 point wise. And also for x uh, strictly greater than 0 and uh, less than or equal to 1, f n x which is given by n x square by n x plus 1. And we can show it easily uh, by a manipulation n x square by n x plus 1, which is n x square by n we take common x plus 1 by n. And uh, this is equal to, so n and n get cancelled and as n goes to infinity, uh, denominator becomes x and the numerator is x square. So, x, x square by x that is x. So, this uh, sequence this converges to a function f x which is equal to x on uh, x if this is true including 0. So, therefore, it converges point wise to the function f x is equal to x. So, graphically uh, we can see that the graph of these functions for so this is 1, this y is 1. then f x is equal to x is a limit function and uh, you will see that for f 1 looks like a continuous function f and f maybe f 5 And uh, as n go uh, is becoming larger and larger, it is clustering towards the function f x is equal to x. So, uh, what is a, what's a
conclusion. The conclusion is the sequence f n x which is n x square by n x plus 1 this converges to a function f x which is equal to x on the interval 0 1. And one thing we can observe that this time the limit function is also continuous. The limit function f x which is equal to x on 0 1 is continuous. And observe that each of the uh, function in the sequence f n x is continuous on 0 1. So, each function in the sequence is continuous and this sequence converges to a function f x which is also continuous. So, this time we got a better result that the limit of the sequence of continuous functions is also continuous. And this happened because the convergence in this situation is uniform convergence. We will show that uh, the convergence is uniform. So, how do we show? So, for a given epsilon greater than 0, we should be able to find an n which is independent of x such that f n the difference between f n x and x is less than epsilon for all small n greater than that capital N which is independent of x. So, we will show for this example. So, f n x minus f x by definition of the sequence this is n x square by n x plus 1 minus the limit function is x. Okay, just uh, okay, uh, doing the algebraic manipulation we see that this is nothing but x upon n x plus 1. And what we want is we want so given epsilon greater than 0 we we are looking for x upon n x plus 1 is less than epsilon for all n greater than a given capital N which is independent of x. So, we are looking for this one as yes, okay, a simple manipulation uh, if we apply here this one this can also be written as x upon epsilon is less than n x plus 1 and if you divide third by x then 1 by epsilon is less than n plus 1 by x. So, in other words 1 by epsilon minus 1 by x is less than n or if n is greater than 1 by epsilon minus 1 by x and 1 by x okay, that there you can have a bound that n is greater than 1 by epsilon. So, x varies in the interval 0 1. So, the greatest value it can assume is 1. So, 1 by epsilon minus 1. So, therefore, it is obvious that uh, this difference f n x minus f x which is x by n x plus 1 and which is less than epsilon for all n strictly greater than n that n is 1 by epsilon minus 1. So, this uh, n is independent of the point x. So, that is true this n will work for all x. So, hence 
the convergence is uniform. Okay, and uh, we have a uniform convergence of uh, sequence of functions and it converges to f and also we got an additional uh, property that the limit function is also continuous uh, when each individual function the sequence uh, is continuous. So, we state an important uh, theorem in this uh, regard when we have uniform convergence. So, theorem call it theorem 1. Let f n be a sequence of let f n be a sequence of functions which converges which converges uniformly to a function f x on an interval a b and suppose that each function each function f n x is continuous on a b. So, this sequence converges uniformly to a function f x on a b and we assume that each function f n is continuous on a b then the conclusion is then the limit function then the limit function f x. So, the limit function f is continuous on a b. So, this uh, is an interesting result that guarantees that if a sequence of function converges to a function and uh, each of the function the sequence is continuous then the limit function is also continuous provided the convergence is uniform. So, therefore, uh, a sequence of continuous functions converging uniformly to a function f then the function limit function f itself is continuous. Uh, in the existence and uniqueness uh, theorem we will also uh, use the idea of interchange of limit and uh, integration of sequences of uh, functions. So, we now see a result that deals with interchange of limit and integration. So, interchange of limit and integration of sequence of functions. So, we state a theorem without proof, uh, proof can be seen in uh, any one of the standard text on real analysis or calculus. So, theorem call it theorem 2. So, let uh, f n be a sequence of functions, f n be a sequence of f 
functions defined on some interval a b so assume that f n converges uniformly to a function f on a b. So, f n is a sequence of functions on a b and that converges uniformly to a function f on a b. Uh, also, suppose that each function f n is continuous on a b, each function is assumed to be continuous on a b, then the conclusion is, so then for every alpha and beta such that a is less than or equal to alpha strictly less than beta less than or equal to b limit n goes to infinity integral alpha to beta f n x d x is equal to limit integral alpha to beta can take the in limit inside n goes to infinity f n x d x which is nothing but integral alpha to beta f x d x. So, uh, what does it say? If you have a sequence of uh, functions that converges uniformly and each of the function in the sequence is continuous, then you can interchange the limit and the integration. So, you can take the limit uh, inside the integral and uh, uh, which is same as uh, you know taking the limit of the integral or uh, integrating the limit of the function. So, we will see one example in this regard. So, example 4. So, consider a sequence so functions which we have already considered. So, f n x which is equal to n x square by n x plus 1, the interval x is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to 0, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etcetera. So, we have already seen that this sequence of functions converges uniformly to a function limit function f x is equal to x. So, limit n goes to infinity f n x is equal to uh, f x which is x we have seen from the previous example for x between 0 and 1 and this convergence is uniform, uh, uniform convergence. So, f n converges to f uniformly and also f n is continuous for n is equal to 1 to on the interval 0 1. Now, let us see what will be the value of the limit. So, limit n goes to infinity integral 0 to 1 
fnx dx which is equal to theorem says that this can be the limit can be taken inside. So, limit integral 0 to 1 limit fnx dx which is integral 0 to 1 the limit is fx dx that limit is fx is x. So, which is 1 by 2. Now, if you take the LHS, so if you take uh, the left hand side and treat it separately. So, LHS you take the limit n goes to infinity integral 0 to 1 f n x d x which is limit n goes to infinity integral 0 to 1 n x square by n x plus 1 dx which is equal to limit n goes to infinity integral 0 to 1. If you do uh, uh, simple algebraic uh, operation, if you divide this uh, polynomial by the denominator, this can be shown that this is nothing but x minus 1 by n plus 1 by n into n x plus 1 dx. So, this is equal to if you do the integration. So, limit n goes to infinity. So, if you integrate it you get x square by 2 minus integral of 1 by n is x by n and integral of 1 by n into n x plus 1 is natural logarithm of n x plus 1 divided by n square and if you evaluate the integral at 0 and 1 uh, you you get this is equal to this is equal to limit n goes to infinity 1 by 2 minus 1 by n Uh, into ln of n plus 1 divided by n square this is plus and now if you take the limit uh, that limit happens to be so this is equal to 1 by 2 you can show that this is equal to 1 by 2. So, this limit is equal to half Okay, so the limit the LHS is one by two minus one by n plus ln of n plus one by n square, which is half. So the RHS uh, is equal to Okay, LHS is equal to RHS. So, therefore, uh, this we this verifies 
this verifies that as limit n goes to infinity integral 0 to 1 f n x dx is equal to integral 0 to 1 limit n goes to infinity f n x dx which is of course is equal to integral 0 to 1 f x dx. So, conclusion of the theorem uh, the conclusion is that the theorem is verified. Okay, so uh, in this uh, lecture, what we have seen is once say sequence of functions are given, there are two types of convergences we discussed. One is a pointwise convergence, and the other one is uh, the uniform convergence. The advantage of uniform convergence is that it preserves the continuity of the terms of the sequence uh, to, the lim, uh, to the limit function. If uh, each of f n is continuous and uh, f n converges uniformly to f, then the limit function f itself is continuous on the given interval a b. Okay.